Yeah, it's fun. You know what? The world, man, it's uh, the world's an interesting place. You know, and uh, um, we we run well anywhere in the world together, and our music uh, translates. And you know, we. Uh, you know, it's it's like going to Mongolia and China and like learning. I mean, we learn like local songs and try to put them into our music. And so I guess you know, um, it's like after going through that, you know, you come back, you know, knowing more about the world and you know. And so uh, it's it feels good to be back. I mean, we we had like a week and a half home, which was nice because we were gone for like from we were gone from L.A. for like two and a half months. Which can be draining on the body, and uh, you know, it just you need, it's hard to like keep connections. So it's good to be home. Yeah, well, you know, you mentioned India. India is probably the most different place that I've ever been to. You know, just in terms of you know, just day to day life is very different. And but, but for most of the world. Um, People are struggling to find their basic needs. You know, um, you know, even clothing, water, clean water, food, clean water, food. You know, a clean place to use the restroom. Um, you know, and bathe, if even that's even possible. Uh, and that just that basic need. So I think, um, you know, we, us going around the world and then coming back to our whatever, a little paradise that in a lot of ways, um, you know, exploits, you know, it's like, you know, without, you know, all the, the, the people, the poverty, you know, like, people with money can't survive without people, without people, you know, being impoverished, impoverished, and, and so, and just seeing that, you know, it just makes me question my own choices and my own life. What you take for granted to it daily. Yeah, and it's not even taking it for granted. It's like, for me, it's like I feel like I have power to do something about it. You know what I mean? So it's like, how am I going to spend my days and, and, and talking to people and trying to create a different world in the future, you know? And so, uh, you know, and that's kind of like what it's done for me in my life. It's like my life is so much more focused on like, changing uh, that. Now. Well, there's not enough of that too. And I mean, it's less. good that you guys are using the power that you actually have within the music industry, within any kind of industry that you can, and utilize at the same time the thing, the thing that you've acquired to do good, you know, to do change, to make some change, to add more purpose to somebody else's life, which they probably didn't have any, you know. So that's great that you guys are actually using your gift is good, you know, because yeah. a lot of people is just it turns into something selfish. Yeah, well, and it's just more and more. Most of us you guys here, are, it's like the, the you know the capitalist society is based on needing more and accumulating more, and uh, and we really don't need more. But people around the world do. There are people that actually need more. Yeah, we're standing right here by the elevator. <laughs> 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 So, um, so, so yeah, you know, and, and using music and art as change and the fodder for change and fodder for, to create, you know, a movement is what we're That's about. Cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, we want to make a positive difference wherever we go, even within ourselves and our own community that we're from, in our own band, even. Yeah, but I think our just our whole, you know, our whole energy, philosophy, or the way we live, we we, we try to include people rather than exclude. We're about inclusion, and uh, that's kind of like always what we've been about, just as human beings on a basic level, and, and that transcends into our music and to our daily lives, you know, and. Um, so, you know, I'm really proud to be a part of this band. And I, you know, this band has definitely changed me for the better. And just being a part of it, I learned so much. And it's, I'm very grateful to be a part of it. Well, we travel a lot. And so within traveling a lot, um, we get exposed to different kinds of music, food, different people, cultures, and uh, um, different scenes. And, and we're always like, I mean, 
mean, you, that's a good thing about music. It's like you can always know more. You can always learn more. And we're like students of art, and students of music, and uh, we're just always trying to learn and incorporate that in the best way that we can without being cheesy, you know, into our music. Um, and and it's not like oftentimes we're not. It's you know, it comes out pretty natural. Where we'll have a sound or we'll hear something that we really like and we'll try to maybe emulate the feeling of that. You know, for instance, like on our last record, we have a song called Malagasy Shock. I heard about that. Yeah, we were in Madagascar. But being there and hearing Malagasy music just tripped us out. We never heard anything like it, but the, just the rhythms and the, and the feel of it, it's... Uh, it's like, unlike anything else. It's just how it plays off of each other too. The same yeah. sounds. It's just it just like bounces yeah. back and works with each other. You know, it's so, a flow. So we did our version of it, which really sounds nothing like real Malagasy music, you know, or like you know. But uh, but to us, we you know we were borrowing you know the feeling, and uh, we we got it. so it, you can kind of hear when we get into different styles. It's like that's kind of like what we what we kind of got hype on you know, by wherever we went or what we heard so um, you know and so yeah we just we never want to lose that you know once you're like not excited about playing music anymore and it Love just becomes one. a drag you know it's like not worth it you know I think the traveling sometimes is a drag but actually playing you know is it's worth it we're world citizens, you know. We don't necessarily consider. I mean, we're a band from LA, but we're we're a part of the world. We're, we, you know, we're not. You know, the whole idea of like jingoism and raising flags and stuff. That's not really our energy. You know, we feel like we're citizens of the world and like that everybody on the planet is potentially our family. You know, and that we're all here. And we're all come from one source. You know. And, and, uh, and you know, and so borrowing, you know, within that concept, borrowing from different rhythms or cultures, or it's just, it's, it's just comes natural yeah. to you guys. Yeah. Without like trying to be it, you know, we're not like up there wearing, you know, traditional garb necessarily. Right. But like in Mongolia, we, like, for the encore, we would, we were outside. They have the like Mongolian wrestlers. They have like this sport wrestling is like really big there, right. um, and like a lot of people do it. And, um, and I mean, from from a Western point of view, and coming from my own limited knowledge, it's kind of like a mixture of uh, maybe not really grappling, but stand-up wrestling mixed with uh, uh, I can't even, uh, sumo wrestling. You know, yeah, you know, but that's just that's my own mix, yeah. Limited, you know, um, and uh, and it was really interesting. But anyways, they wear these hats. So we went and bought all the hats, and we came out, and they do this like bird dance. Did you guys take a picture of that? Or you... No, I don't oh. know. I'm sure somebody has it, but so they do the wrestlers do this bird dance. So for the encore, we put on these hats that came out and did the bird dance, you know, and the whole crowd went nuts, you know. So it's like that, but you know, we're always like also careful because we're not trying to make fun of the culture either. So we, we you know, we always check in, like, is this going to be cool, you know? And we're not making fun, but we're like not. People will go nuts because, right. like, for a band from the U.S., for, you know, to see them like being into their culture is a certain form of respect too. At yeah, the same time, it's mean? just like yeah. you know, I appreciate what your culture has yeah. done, and you know, you're taking it in. And then we learn as much of the language as we can while we're there, so we can communicate from stage. We're not just like speaking English right, right. to our crowds. You know, we're learning, you know, as much as we can about to, to communicate. With them. Well, I mean, there's uh, obviously the immigration issue is a, a big deal right now. Um, so, you know, we're involved in that. Um, I mean, really, all causes, you know. Uh, right now, the, uh, you know, just yesterday, uh, this cop, uh, involuntary manslaughter, uh, killed, uh, basically shooting a kid in the back while he's laying down on the floor and he's uh, uh, confused. He said that he confused it his taser gun for his gun right. and accidentally shot him. And, um, and just seeing the video, and just for this cop to, to walk away involuntary, it's just... Um, 
it's a modern day lynch, you know, really. And so, in, in the upcoming right now, that's something that I think they're going to be part of for sure. That's and also justice for that young young yeah. man that died. Which know, most of the times don't have a voice. Yeah, exactly. And that, as of as of recent too, in Dominican Republic, has been having this has been going on the same yeah. thing, as to where, you know, the cops, they just because of the law, they think they're literally above the law. And I mean, there's been 22 year olds like just shot just because they don't want to stop or you know things like that to that nature where they take something that could be solved so easy without violence and then but they take it to that area and to that place and nobody could do anything about it because either they don't know any better or because they're scared. Right. So I mean, you know it's and that's why I really want to focus in on like how and what you guys do uh, besides the music just because not too many use their power for yeah. good and you know i really appreciate what you guys are doing as far as like just going to the people you know thank you and actually giving support when some can't some won't you know you guys are still helping you guys are still there you know so that's definitely appreciated and as far as same as you as a world citizen you know, that really means a lot when somebody else can come into it that doesn't have to and does something, you know? Well, there are kids and there are responsibilities, man, you know? So we got to take care of them, you know? It's like, the kid's running away from you, you shoot him, or if he's standing on his back, you know, that's just, I don't know. Well, that's just, common sense to us, you know, but, you know. Yeah, it's a kid, okay? It's, you know, I mean, come on. That guy was a kid, you know? It's like, I don't know. I'm tearing. Antagonistic, drastic, coming from a place where these cops get their ass kicked. The last trick unified was the cornerstone. Other crystal to the dome is how we wanna clone.